Welcome to Nightlight Testmaker 5.0. Testmaker is a multiple choice generator for Windows and Apple Macintosh OS X. Testmaker is an easy way to quickly create your own multiple choice tests. This video tutorial gives a quick overview of many of the program's features to help you get the most out of Testmaker 5.0. First a little history behind the product. The Testmaker user interface is the same one used by Nightlight software to help train firefighters, EMTs, and paramedics throughout the world. The original Testmaker was custom designed for Whiteman Air Force Base and the 509th Bomb Wing. These are the soldiers who guard our nuclear arsenal and protect the stealth bomber. Testmaker 5.0 is a perfect tool for teachers, instructors, and for companies that need to train and test personnel. Multiple choice tests can easily be generated and immediately printed out. Those using Testmaker as a learning tool can benefit from the software's ability to keep track of the questions they incorrectly answer. These questions are displayed right on the table of contents page. Here is a brief overview of the features that come built into Testmaker 5.0. Let's start with the table of contents window. On the left side of the window you will see a list of chapters. To launch a chapter, simply double click on the chapter name, or the load chapter button at the bottom of the window. Just below the list of chapters is the chapter palette. The chapter palette lets you add new chapters, delete entire chapters of questions, rename chapters, merge questions into another chapter, and copy questions from one chapter to another. On the top center of the table of contents window is the last session palette. The last session palette lets you see the last chapter you accessed, displays the date and duration of the test, the number of questions you correctly answered, the number of questions you incorrectly answered, your score and the last question you answered. You can also change the overall look of the software by changing the skin. We include 15 different skins. From this section, you can resume your last session and print out the test results from your last session. The center palette allows you to see the total number of questions in the chapter, see the number of incorrectly and correctly answered questions, see your score based on the number of questions you answered, and finally the number of questions in your entire database. One of the most powerful features of TestMaker, for those using it for studying purposes, is its ability to keep track of the questions you incorrectly answered. These are displayed right on the table of contents window. If you click on a chapter name from the list of available chapters, this palette will refresh and display the incorrectly answered questions from the selected chapters. Click Find All and see the list from the entire database. You can load the questions you incorrectly answered by clicking the Reload These Questions Only button. You can also go directly to any of the questions on the list by double-clicking right on the question. Once a question is answered correctly, it will be removed from the list automatically. On the bottom of the table of contents window, you will see some other buttons. The Load Chapter button loads the chapter highlighted in the chapters palette. To load all chapters in the database click the Load All Chapters button. To only load the unanswered questions in a selected chapter, click the Unanswered button. The Load Elephant button will load all the questions you ever answered incorrectly. There are two ways the software remembers the questions you incorrectly answered. The first is the Question Memory, the second is the Elephant Memory. In the question memory mode, once you answer a previously incorrectly answered question correctly, it is removed from memory. But, the elephant memory never forgets the questions you incorrectly answered, until you clear them from the main test window. We will show you how to do this a little later. The website button connects you with the night light website. The terminology button takes you to the terminology section. The exit button exits the program. Now let's take a look at the main testing window. This is the window where you will create your questions and take your tests. There is a lot going on in this window. Let's break it down into sections. The top section displays the chapter name, the current question number, the database number. There is a drop down box that allows you to change chapters without exiting the main testing window. If you click on type you can change the typeface, 
as well as the color and size of the type. Level allows you to assign a difficulty level to your questions. Either one or two. Count indicates how many questions are in the current chapter. Total count shows you the number of questions in the entire database. The score box displays your score. Below, the question box will display the question and the four possible answers. Click on one of the option buttons to select your answer. The software tells you if you were correct or incorrect and displays the correct answer. You can change how questions are answered from the options window. The don't tell me how I'm doing option will hide the score from you so you do not know your score until you finish the test. There is a way to peek at the score if you just can't wait. There is also turbo answer which will move on to the next question immediately when you click an options button. The default setting is set to hide answer button. If you want the software to read the question out loud to you using the computer's native voice, click on the read button. To stop reading, click the stop button. If you check the use voice assistant box the software will automatically read the question out loud to you when a new question is displayed. The navigational buttons allow you to move back and forth through the database. The first button navigates to the first question. The back button moves one question back. The next button advances one question, and the last button moves to the last question. Click on the new button to add a new question. Click on the save button to save the new question. Click on the delete button to delete the currently displayed question. Other features included with TestMaker 5.0 include the ability to add bot still images and video to your questions. There is also a built-in spell checker with check as you type capability. In addition there is a teach mode feature. Let's take each one at a time. You can add still images and quick time videos to any of your questions. There is a printing option where you can print the questions along with the images. Images are stored in the pictures folder while videos are stored in the videos folder. We have added a built-in spell checker that checks your spelling as you type. Words that don't appear in the dictionary can be added by clicking the plus sign. If you want to add additional information to your question, you can do so in two ways. The first is using the teach mode function. When the questions are unlocked there is a teach button displayed on the screen. Click it and add your additional information about your questions. This can be hints or simply an explanation of why the answer is correct. Click save and a small T button will appear on screen. Click the T button and the computer will read out loud the information you entered. Another way you can add additional information about your questions is from the Notes palette. In the Notes palette you can add page references to where the question was derived and additional information about the question. The user can click on the Notes button to display this information. If you want to add some of the information on the Notes palette to the Teach mode, simply highlight the text you want to add and click on the Copy button. The text will be added to the teach mode and the T button will be displayed. The notes palette also displays question memory, elephant memory and snoop memory. The question memory and elephant memory have already been discussed. The snoop memory keeps track of your previous answer from the last time you answered the question. This information is saved so that when reports are printed out, the user's incorrect answer is also recorded. All three can be cleared by clicking on the appropriate buttons. Another great function of TestMaker is the ability to create a custom test from existing chapters. Let's say I have 1750 questions in my database and I want to create a custom final exam of 100 questions. I first create a new blank chapter and call it final exam. I then navigate to a question I want to add, click the transport button, scroll down and select final exam then click the add button. That's it. I move to the next question and repeat the process. You can pick and choose the questions you want to include in your final exam from the chapters you want and in the order you want them to be displayed. If I want to make two exams with the same questions but sort the order to deter cheating, I can then randomize this chapter, clone if and now I have two copies of the same exam, but the questions are not in the same order. Let's say you don't have time to pick and choose each question. You need to create a random test of 100 questions from 7 of your chapters. TestMaker 5.0 can do this easily with just a few clicks of the mouse. 
from the questions menu, click on Create Random Test from Multiple Chapters. The list box on the left shows all of your available chapters. To add a chapter to your test, simply double click on a chapter in the left box and it will be added to the box on your right. Enter the number of questions and click Create Test. Your random test will be immediately created. You can print this test out or save it as a clone session and print it out later. This is great functionality with no effort on your part. You can also create random tests from a single chapter or from the entire database of questions. These options are accessed from the Questions menu. Another feature of TestMaker 5.0 is the ability to clone a session. You can save multiple sessions complete with the score, so you can come back and study later. Click the CL button to clone a session. Click the R button to display the list of clone sessions. If you have generated random tests from multiple chapters, these tests can be saved and printed out later using the clone function. If you want to find questions on a specific topic, you can search the software by keyword. Click the search button and enter your keyword. The software will load all the questions that contain your keyword. Besides multiple choice question creation, you can also create a terminology library with an unlimited number of words. Just unlock the database, click the new button, type in your word and definition, and click save. With this you can create a custom terminology test that can be printed out. Custom terminology tests are really easy to create. Double click on the word in the left box and it will be added to the box on the right. From there you can print out your test in a variety of ways. Speaking of printing, one of the most powerful features of TestMaker 5.0 is the variety of ways that it can print out tests. The tests are formatted and questions are automatically numbered. You can print out tests without answers, with answers, print tests with notes but no answers, and tests with both notes and answers. You can print out answer sheets and even answer sheet correction keys. The answer sheet correction key looks just like the answer sheet except all the correct answers are marked with an X. Punch out all the XS with your pencil and use it as a correction template. Print questions with images. The software lists the question, followed by displaying the image. With TestMaker 5.0 you can customize the look of your custom test. You can add a custom title and footer message, change font colors and sizes, and type faces. Restore the system back to default settings by clicking on the defaults button. You can also print out various elements of the terminology section, including your custom terminology test, Jeopardy style tests, a terminology glossary, a random terminology test, and a random Jeopardy style terminology test. A great function in TestMaker 5.0 is the ability to print out flashcards. You can use heavy card stock and a paper cutter to create your own custom flashcards. When you click on the help button, the software will guide you through the process. You spent a lot of time creating your questions. The last thing you want to do is lose them. It is important that you make regular backup copies of your database file. That's easy to do with just one click of the mouse. Simply click on the backup database button on the table of contents window. Your database of questions will be back up to your desktop. The name of the database file is ktm5.rsd. Copy this file off the desktop to a safe location. Your data file has been encrypted so no one can open up the database without using TestMaker 5.0. At Nightlight we have tried to create a software program that is easy and enjoyable to use for both instructors and students. For more instruction on how to use the Nightlight TestMaker, click on the video tutorials button for step-by-step -step instructions. For more information about Nightlight software, visit us on the web at www.nightlight.com. Thanks for watching.